All right, so. Phoenix. Yeah? I think your glasses are upside down. Yeah, I know. Can you see like that? Yeah. Like clarity? Yeah, but not as good as if they were right side up. So they still work, just not as well as yeah. if they were the right side up. Yeah. Okay. You want to keep them like that? Okay. For the rest of the video? I'll try. It might slip off though. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> okay, you do you, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, anyways guys, uh, welcome back to another unboxing video on the channel. Today we are enjoying yet another Boxu box. Shout out to them for sending this over. And before we get into it, I do want to let you guys know about a really cool opportunity. So uh, Boxu is actually running a contest right now to give free tickets to Japan for any new subscribers between now until the end of the year, December 31st. So if you guys want a chance to enter that contest and potentially win these tickets, then make sure to use my code TIGER10 and also use the link in my description. And of course, on top of the chance to win the tickets, you also get a 10% discount on your snack uh, subscription. So make sure to uh, go do all that. Thank you to Boxu once again for sending this box. And of course, this video is sponsored just like the last one, but it will not affect our opinions of uh, how good the snacks are. So with all that said, let's uh, open up this box. Yeah. Here we go. You ready, Phoenix? Yeah. All right. Oh. Wow. Okay, so you can't really see what the snacks are right now because <laughs> we have the uh, pamphlet just like last time, but this one is different. It says Hokkaido Holidays. So it's a holiday themed snack box this time, I'm guessing which it's is really winter. cool. Uh, yeah, like a winter themed snack box. So let me just show you guys. There's lots of blue. There's a lot of blue. Can you, can you read it? Can you see the, the, the letters or the words? Yeah. What does it say? Uh, Hokkaido holidays. I just said that though. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. If I, I didn't tell you though, would you know what it said? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You, sh you should just wear glasses like this now because it's, it's, it's different, you know? Yeah. Everyone wears them the other way. You can wear them this way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there's the pamphlet, Hokkaido Blues, or sorry, uh, Hokkaido Holidays. The pamphlet is blue, and the back says, A Happy New Year to our Boxu family, snacks and teas. Oh, wait. Okay. Hokkaido Holidays. The winter is a time for festivities and snow, and what better place to celebrate than Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island? Uh, Hokkaido's winters are filled with winter festivals, relaxing onsen bats, and beautiful ice sculptures. Our curation shows off Hokkaido's amazing dairy products and produce, like gummies made with juicy Hokkaido apples, mm. uh, plus snacks that remind us of the wintry snow, like fluffy milk mochi puffs. Ooh, mm. that sounds good. Yeah. I think we had that before, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, sounds good. Uh, we hope the box brings coziness to your winter. So that is... The first page, here's a quick look at some of the snacks. I'm excited guys, very, very excited. Okay, so um, let's just jump into it here. So you know what, actually, before we do that, we do need to make a thumbnail, so why don't we uh, do that real quick and then we'll be right back, guys. Mm, corn tea. <laughs> okay, okay, we got something. We definitely got something there. So uh, yeah, right on top here, we have a really cool corn tea which we're not gonna try in the video but that sounds very interesting corn tea and uh why don't you just grab a snack here phoenix what do you want to start with well what are you feeling this thing is covering uh, almost the entire box so you want to grab that first yeah okay so this looks like apple gummies. Uh, apple gummies yes apple gummies for you guys there uh phoenix what did you find the description we'll read that real quick and then we will try these here. These gummies. Hokkaido Yoichi Apple Gummy. These bouncy gummies are full of apple-y flavor. Hokkaido based maker incorporated juicy apples from Yoichi Town, Hokkaido, known for its delectable apples. Sweet without being overpowering, we hope these give you a much needed energy boost. Flavor, sweet, vegetarian, no, common allergies, none. Also contains not available. Okay, so there you go. That is the Hokkaido Apple Gummies. Uh, let's open this up, and you can try the first one, Phoenix. Get it. Here we go. Grab one. Mm. Oh, these are big. Yeah. These are big. Look I at that. Be the, I, I thought Those they'd be... Those are sizable gummies. I thought they'd be the shape of apples. Uh, that would be nice, but that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. 
Mmm. Mm. There's a lot of apple. It's all apple. 100% apple. They're right though. It's sweet without being too sweet. Yeah. Right? Rating. It's like probably the closest to an actual apple I've had. Yeah. When it comes to candy, you know, like it's very much like a natural apple flavor. Yeah. Right? What do you give it? Mm. I don't want to rate it that high, so I'll do a seven. Point. Because of the first neck? Yeah, seven point six. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's This is really good. And before I would do the same thing, you know, where I was like, it's the first snack, so I want to have like somewhere higher to go. So I want to start lower, but that's not fair to the snack. I feel like it's really, really good. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to give this an 8.5. 8.5. You think I'm crazy? Maybe. Maybe. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. This is a great first snack to start with. Hokkaido Yoichi Apple Gummy. Now let's move on to uh, what looks like fries. <laughs> this is uh, Jaga Pakuru Hokkaido Premium Potato. There you go. Yeah, it's like little fry guys. Where is um, it? In the front there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... Oh, there you go, it's focused. Yeah, so it looks like french fries to me. But they're crunchy, of course. They're more like a... Like a chip, I guess. So, Jaga Pakuru. There's the picture, guys. Yo, this pamphlet's really, really nice. I gotta say, like a really, really nicely uh, laid out pamphlet, man. Uh, Jaga Pokuru, made by Kalbi, is made from 100% high quality Hokkaido grown potatoes. They're cut and processed using a unique method to achieve this snack signature crispy texture. You can taste roasted salt in every bite. Ooh, okay. I love salty. Yeah, me too. I enjoy salty snacks as well, for mm. sure. It's like an extra crunchy fry. 8.5. Right? You really like it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the only, like the best way to describe it is, um, Salty. it's a very crunchy fr french fry, right? It's like a McDonald's fry. Is that better? Mm. Better than a McDonald's fry. Yeah. But, uh, it's got more of like a chip, a crunch to it. Very good. Yeah. And the thing I like about Boxu compared to like other snack boxes is that they give you two of everything. Yeah. Or almost, almost two of everything. Like some are like just one, but for the smaller snacks, they give you two packs so you can have one now and save one for later or just like have one for each person if you're sharing them with, uh, you know, your friend or a significant other or whatever, which is always nice. So we'll save this for later. Um, you can have it though if you really like it. And I'll give it an 8.52. I think that's really fair for this one. So two 8.5s back to back. Next up, uh, your turn, Phoenix. My bad. <laughs> your turn. Oh. What do you want? I guess I'll take this. Okay, so this seems like a trail mix kind of deal. Yeah. It's like a mixture of various nuts and little crunchy things in there. These nuts. What'd you say? These nuts. <laughs> do you have to say it once per video? Like, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> has, every video you have to say at least once. I mean, it's pretty likely we'll have like a nutty snack in every one, so I guess just uh, be ready for that in the future. This is wasabi yama wasabi oh, no, rice no, cracker. Wasabi. You can always count on wasabi to spice up our lives. Yama wasabi is a kind of horseradish that's cultivated in Hokkaido and it lends a fiery hit to this salty treat. Share this cracker with your own wasabi. Wasabi. Okay, well, there's two packs. Okay. I'll share this with my wasabi. <laughs> Let's put that to the side. No. Do you like it? No. Is, is it too wasabi for you? No. Do you like wasabi? No. No? Oh, I love this. Oh, it's very wasabi. Strong wasabi flavor, for sure. It's like a little crunchy snack wrapped in seaweed with a uh, wasabi coating, I guess. I'm not really sure, but. I need more fries. The wasabi is definitely extremely uh, noticeable, <laughs> I guess. 
No, Phoenix, we'll save that one. Don't open it. Let's save these uh, extra packs here. I need to get this taste out of my mouth. You want some water? Mm, nah, not now. Okay. I'll just. I like this a down. lot. I'm I'll gonna give it an eight. I'll just quench it down with some fruit gummies. Okay. Yeah, eight out of ten for me. I'm gonna guess you're gonna give it a much lower score. Mm. One. One? Yeah. A one? I think this might be the first time we've I, given a one to any snack. I would have given it a zero, but uh, it was a little salty. <laughs> so the saltiness saved it Yeah. from being a zero? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I love it. If you guys love wasabi, that's going to be right down your alley. But um, I get it, Phoenix. You know, you're, you're not a wasabi guy. You don't like spice anything with a hint of spice, right? Like, yeah. You're just not really a spicy person. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let's try this one. This is big. Mm. This is big. Look at this. There's even two of them. There's two of them. It's uh, mochi. mochi Puffs. Uh, Funwari Majin Mochi Puffs Hokkaido Milk. Yo, look how beautiful that is. Ooh, it smells look like how milk. beautiful that is. And puffy. Uh, light as air and snow white. Um, these milky mochi puffs look like fluffy snowflakes, slightly sweet and creamy. This delicious snack is made using domestic Japanese mochi, rice, and a secret process to transform it into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection. This limited edition snack is made with milk from Hokkaido, which is revered for its dairy products. There you go. It's so good. Mochi puff. Nine. Mochi puff. A little puff ball right there. Nine. Mmm. Nine. It just melts in your mouth, huh? Like it's like it's like a cloud. It's like eating a cloud. Nine. <laughs> I got it. You like it? It's nine. <laughs> For me, nine. It's a nine. You're right. That, that that's a, that's a clear step up from the last couple of snacks. It's got to be a nine at least. That last one. It's all yours. Mmm. Let's move on to the next one here. Phoenix. That one? What is it? What is this? Let me uh, show people what's up real quick. It looks like a potato chip covered in chocolate. It does. It looks like a white chocolate covered potato chip to me as well. So hold that. I'm not holding it. Okay, don't open it if you want to. That's fine. And this is... Hmm. Not chocolate covered. I actually can't find this one. Mm. Oh, there we go. Jaga Choco mm. Potato Chips, white chocolates. If you've ever dipped french fries into a milkshake, you know how well chocolate and potato go together. Thick chocolate potatoes, or sorry, thick potato chips are covered in chocolate that pools in each ridge of the chips for an unbeatable flavor. Unbeatable sweet and savory flavor. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, let's get it. The flavor's kind of light. Mm-hmm. I'm giving a... Not super light, though. It's definitely chocolatey and chippy. And it's like a thick chocolate coating, too. It's not like... It's a little bit of white chocolate. It's like, look, look at how thick these chips are. Like, that is a thick chip right there, guys. It's a lot of chocolate. Thick chips. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's a nine two. This is a nine two for me. I give it an eight. It's on par with the uh, the puffs. I don't think it's as good as the puffs. I think it's as good, if not better. It might it might be a nine point one. I know, I know. I like it a lot. Okay, you know if you don't like it that much, then stop eating it. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost wasted all of it. We still got a few though. I'm gonna save them. Hey, hey, you gave it an eight. You don't deserve any more. We're putting that away so we can share them with some uh, other people in the household, okay? But uh, that was great, man. Let me uh, grab this big bag here. I always like to get the big bags out of the way. So this is the Mike uh, popcorn. Uh, what flavor though? I don't know what it says here. Butter, is it butter flavored? Yeah, butter soy sauce flavor. Interesting, butter soy sauce. Yeah. 
Mike Popcorn was Japan's first domestic popcorn brand, selling popcorn from stalls at amusement parks in 1957. This particular flavor has Hokkaido butter and soy sauce for a one-two punch of umami. Remember last time I didn't like the Mike Popcorn? Yeah, but that one's weird. Yeah. The last time we had the Mike Popcorn, Mike uh, Popcorn, it was um, like plum. Yeah, plum. Which is a strange flavor. And uh, I actually enjoyed mm. it, but I understand why you didn't like it. It's actually pretty good. Oh yeah. I mean, as soon as I heard butter soy sauce, I was like, and that's five. gonna be good. That's gonna be really good. And I was right, because soy sauce flavor is really good, and butter is good. So you put them together, butter soy sauce, can't really go wrong, you know? 8.5, right? Yeah. 8.5 for me too. Not as good as the chips, but certainly very delicious. Better than the chips. Okay, yeah, I know, based on your rating, but I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about, about for me. I would say, yeah, a step below the chocolate covered chips, but still extremely, extremely good, guys. Catch that? Yeah. Okay, let me do this. I got this too. I got to watch, watch, watch. Yay. Was that in frame? Mm, I hope I so. Feel like, I felt like they missed it. Hold on, let me try this. Let me, let me throw, toss it out the other way. Well, you we got both of them. I got two? Yeah. Oh. There's like a tiny piece and a popcorn. Whoa. Wow. Or the tiny piece fell. That's crazy. No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Huh. I'm pretty sure I got it. Okay. <laughs> We're having too much fun with the popcorn. Good job, Phoenix. Well done. Let's move on to the next thing in this box. Choose one. Hmm? Come on. Come on. There's only one. The mochi? Yeah. Is there more? There should be two. There's two. One is there we go. Oh. We got the pink mochi. What's this? Why are you throwing it? <laughs> we'll leave that for later. Okay, so we have the pink mochi here. And, and the pink mochi. Let me see what they say in this little pamphlet. Uh, ooh, oh, it's white peach kibi dango mochi. Ooh, it smells white like peach. peach. This pink treat is called kibi dango, which means it is made with millet or kibi. Uh, peach is a popular flavor for kibi dango because it's associated with a Japanese folk, folk hero, Momotaro, or Peach Boy. We hope you love the soft texture and light yet fruity taste. Okay. You don't want to give it to me? You want both? Fine. <laughs> How about I have half? You can have the other half. Nah. It's so good. It's so good? Mm. Oh, oh it's so, it's so like... It smells like peach. Um, what do you call this? Like, it's so, uh, squishy. Like, like perfect consistency for mochi. You know, it's like super malleable. It kind of reminds me of uh, Ditto, the Pokemon, uh, <laughs> right? Ditto. It's Ditto, the Pokemon, right? We're eating Ditto. Okay, let's go, let's go. I already ate Ditto. It smells delicious. It smells exactly like a peach. Oh my God. Oh my God. That might have been the best mochi I've ever had. Guys, I'm not I'm not not playing. Like I've had a lot of mochi in my time. Granted, I've never been to Japan, so I've never had like, I don't know, fresh mochi or whatever, but I've had a lot here in Canada. And I think that was the best mochi I've ever had. Like the consistency, the texture, the flavor, everything about it was perfect. And I love like even like regular mochi, but this was like on another level, man. 9.5. 9.5. 9. But you agree, right? It was really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Ah, oh, it's gonna be hard to keep going from here. It's gonna be hard to live up to that, but let's keep trying, let's keep going. Um, let's try these other mochi things, I think. This is a yellow mochi. We got, we got a few more of these. There's like three of them, so you, you grab one. Yep, there we go. Just grab, grab one. Okay. So we got a yellow mochi this time, and this is I what think flavor? It's this. Uh, Fujiya Milky Mochi. 
This, mo this mochi is a chewy collaboration with Fuji and Milky, a popular candy in Japan, known for its sweet, creamy flavor and its iconic mascot, Peko chan. Inside the soft mochi are a layer of marshmallow mm -hmm. and creamy condensed milk filling, making this the perfect winter treat. So yeah, there's filling. There's a milk condensed milk filling in there. All right, let's try it out. What does condensed mean? Uh, it's I don't really know how to describe it to you. To be honest, condensed milk is just condensed milk. Oh. Ah, we get it now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's milk that's condensed. There you go. So this is it. I'm gonna take a bite in the middle so you guys can see the filling. Why is milk related to rain? Can you see it? Maybe? A little bit? Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Condensed milk is always good. And then you combine that with mochi. 8.5. 9. 9. I, I think I still like the peach one better just because of like how perfect everything was but for how this one it was yeah and i think i do prefer the peach flavor over the milk flavor but with that said um it's still like one of the best mochi i've had period ever you're making a mess phoenix there's popcorn everywhere <laughs> stop trying to catch it okay or actually you know what you can keep going if you want yeah you got to clean up after yourself okay i'm not gonna clean up after the video agreed unagreed unagreed and stop doing it. We only have like three snacks left, so let's get through it, and then uh, you can do whatever you want with the popcorn after. Okay? Okay. I'm, I'm confiscating this. I'm confiscating this. Let's go. Uh, next up, we have sweet potato cookie. Ooh. Sweet potato cookie. There you go. And this one. <sighs> let's see. That is not the cookie. Where's the cookie? Sweet potato cookie. Who nope, that's not the it. Cookie from the cookie. Oh, uh, yaki emo sweet potato cookie. Feel the warmth and coziness of a cookie made with yaki emo or roasted Japanese sweet potato. We love how the crispy cookie gives way to a mild yet impactful sweet potato flavor. Enjoy with some warm tukibi cha tea. I'm guessing that's the corn tea. Uh. Mm, maybe not. Either way, sweet potato cookie. Is it good? Do you like it? So Seven. that's the cookie. I don't know. I gave it a seven. There's not a lot going on. It's not a lot going on? Yeah. You were expecting more? Yeah. It's, um, it's meant to be a tea biscuit. Oh. It's meant to be had with tea, I think, so that's why maybe it's a little bit plain. Yeah. Yeah, but... Let's buy some tea. It's nice. It's good. Well, we do it a seven. I know what you mean, though. Like, after having just, like, these really delicious snacks, this is kind of just, like, a normal biscuit, right? Seven point five. Seven point five. Very good still, but definitely um a little basic, if you will. Not a bad thing though, if you want to have it with like a drink, like a tea or some other warm beverage, I think it would be a lot more enjoyable. But since we're having it by itself, it's uh it's okay. It's just okay. Uh we got like two or three things left, Phoenix, so you want that? So this is, it says crunch chocolate on the front and there's oh, there a corn, is. there's some corn on the front too, on the, on the package. So this is That's not corn chocolate, corn chocolate. Who knew corn and chocolate would make such a lovely pairing? Hokkaido's Tokibi corn is top notch. So maker Romance Seika created these corn puffs enrobed in corn flavored chocolate. And how cute is it that the packaging looks like corn? Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's a yellow package with some green, like a uh, corn on the cob, right? I didn't notice that. Hmm. I did not notice that. All right, Phoenix. It's kind of like, like popcorn with chocolate. It's like popcorn? Yeah. It's like a Rice Krispie bar. Yeah. I thought Rice Krispies were made of rice, not kernels. 
Yeah, um, I would say that was like a corn flavored Rice Krispie, but honestly a lot better, like much, much better than a standard Rice Krispie. Um, so that is to me a 8.5. Eight. You don't see. Okay, so it seems like that's been a theme today where I consistently rate it 0.5 more than Phoenix, but he's still giving good scores. So clearly these snacks are very good with the exception of this uh, wasabi snack where he gave it a one. And I think I said eight. But anyways, we got two more snacks here. Uh, let's try this Yubari melon. Uh, it looks like little pastry oh, no. or a cookie it thing. It, it might be another biscuit. I don't know. Let me uh, see. I don't like biscuits. What about the tea? <sighs> Let's see. Yubari melon chocolate. Oh, it's like um, a little milk. Lang de Sha are biscuit-like cookies with cream, sweet cream in the middle. The name means cat's tongue. Oh, cat's tongue. Okay. Oh, yeah. And refers oh, to yeah. the treat's cute shape. The cream is flavored with juicy yubari melon or cantaloupe. Cantaloupe flavored cookie. That's very interesting. It's a cantaloupe flavored cookie, Phoenix. Hmm. Okay, I'm excited. I love anything melon flavored. Oh, okay, so it's one of those cookies that's like, uh, you got two cookies on both sides and then some filling in the middle. So it's a melon filling. Do you say Oreo? Yeah. Does it taste like an Oreo? No, it's like an Oreo. Oh, it's just like, it's like built like an Oreo. Chocolate, cookie, and then cream in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know what I really like? Mm -hmm. uh, this, but there's watermelon filling. Because mm. you like watermelon more than yeah, cantaloupe. It's, it's my favorite fruit. It's, it's, it's top three for me, mm -hmm. for sure. Like next to like mango and mm, honeydew maybe. But cantaloupe is up there too. So cantaloupe flavored filling and chocolate cookie. I think it's a really good combo. I think it's a very good combo. Yeah. Eight? Mm. 8.5? Eight, Eight. Eight? Eight. Me too, me too. All right guys, it comes down to the last snack in this box, we have a few extras for like the Rice Krispie thing and also the mochi, which I want to save. But the last thing we have in here is some kind of chewy candy. Ooh. Some kind of somewhat chewy. It's like kind of hard, kind of chewy. You know, you can press it. Looks like cantaloupe. It kind of feels like um, caramel almost. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Okay, you can open it. I'll read this. Oh, it's apple gummy. Uh, wait, no, what? no, I, I lied. <laughs> I, it was like on the same page. I got confused. Yeah. It's a uh, Kinako and Black Sesame soft candy. Kinako and Black Sesame team up for this incredibly chewy treat. Maker Romance Seika blends these nutty flavors with creamy Hokkaido milk for a mellow and well-balanced snack. Okay, so there is a quick look at that. Okay, and. Uh, here we go, the last snack of the box. Last snack of the box. Uh, there's the candy, it's a little round shaped sesame chewy thing. Okay, so think of like one of those like caramels, right? Like those chewy caramels, but instead it was sesame flavored. That's essentially what this is. I'm a big fan of sesame though. I like sesame a lot. Do you like sesame? Yes, so. I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. Eight. Eight for me. Eight for me. It's good. It's really good. But uh... I gotta, I gotta grade it on the scale of like, like relative to the other snacks. And I think it's not as good as the mochi. I don't think it's as good as the chocolate chips, right? So yeah, I would say eight for sure. Would eat again, but not before the mochi. So there you go, guys. The box is now officially empty. Thank you to Boxu once again for sending over another 
box for me and Phoenix to enjoy and review. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as well. Once again, save 10% off your snack subscription with code TIGER10 and the link in my description. And from now until December 31st, if you guys sign up, then you will get a chance to win free tickets to Japan courtesy of Boxu. And uh, yeah, overall, Phoenix, what would you rate the box? Mm -hmm. Like as a whole, including all the snacks. Oh, uh, what would you? Oh, he pulled the Uno reverse card on me. Okay, so <laughs> I would say an 8.5 as a whole because I don't think I gave any snack less than an 8. Um, mostly I was around 8, 8.5. A few snacks were, you know, 9, 9.5 for the peach mochi. I would give an 8. The, I would usually give a 9, but the wasabi really dragged it down. Mm, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so 8.5 for me, 8 for Phoenix. Um, what if we take out the wasabi snack? Let's say this doesn't exist. What would you rate it? Uh, a nine, nine then? A nine? Okay, so Phoenix loved it, minus the wasabi. I loved it too, including the wasabi. And that's gonna do it for this week's, or this month's, uh, Boxu, uh, taste test slash unboxing slash review. Thank you to Boxu once again. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, Phoenix, any last words before we get out of here? I'm gonna put my glass the right side up. At the very end of the video. Yeah. He flipped it up, he switched it up. Wow. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I did not see that coming. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And, uh, yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.